Okay, let's take a look at this uh, set of problems from 19 through 30. Uh, you will be doing the uh, odd-numbered problems, so I'll do the even ones. And I think I probably won't completely finish uh, working them out, but the setup is the interesting part here. And I think if you can set these up, you can pretty much set up any of the problems that we're working with. Uh, so let's just look at a few of these. Let's just start with number 20. Um, 20 says, uh, let's rotate region 1 around 0C. So um, just to get that, that's rotating around the y-axis. Um, and region 1 is this uh, this chunk right here. Uh, that's defined by y equals x cubed. And then um, these straight lines. Okay, so since we're going to rotate around the y-axis, keep in mind our typical rectangles have to go perpendicular to the axis of rotation, so we get a disc or a washer shape. That's what our geometry formula is built on. And that does mean the short side there is vertical, is a little bit of y, so we're going to be doing a dy integral. Uh, so setting up number 20, uh, the y limits go from 0 to 1. And we are going to have a hole in the shape as it rotates. Uh, so we're going to have an outer radius. So we'll have to do pi r squared for going from the radius out to here. And we'll also have an inner radius. We'll have to subtract off this chunk. Uh, it's not a solid shape when you rotate it around its axis. Okay. Um, so for the outer chunk there, we want to do pi r squared. And this outer radius is 1 the whole time. It never changes. So just pi r squared. And then we want to subtract the inner radius. The inner radius does change, and that's pi r squared. Keep in mind we're doing this all in terms of y. Um, so this function here that defines the inner radius um, is y equals x cubed, but because we need to plug in some y stuff, we need to say x equals y to the one-third. So we'll get y to the one-third in there. And now, again, we're ready to evaluate the integral, and the integral is not too hard to evaluate. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to number 22. Uh, let's see, let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, for 22, got some email from my aunt. Okay, uh, for 22, we want to rotate region 1 again uh, around BC. So BC is, the, is that line up top. Uh, so this time we're not even rotating around the x-axis or the y-axis. Uh, we're rotating around this line right here. Uh, so let's see what we can do about setting that up. Since we're rotating around that line, a typical rectangle looks like this, have to be perpendicular, uh, which means that for 22, we're going to do an integral in terms of x. So we'll have a dx on the end here. Uh, the x limits do go from, uh, ooh, x limits go from 0 to 1. So we'll be going 0 to 1 as far as the x goes. And the outer radius as we rotate this shape, uh, keep in mind our axis of rotation is here. Uh, so from here, uh, the outer radius uh, is 1 the whole time. So again, the outermost biggest part of this is pi 1 squared. And then we're going to do the inner radius. Um, the inner radius is the distance from here to here, um, which is 1 minus the function. Right? It's not the function value itself. The function value itself would be this little bit right here. But we want the other part 
we want one minus the function. So we are going to have one, uh, one minus the function. Uh, and that one, again, the integral isn't bad here. We're going to have to uh, multiply this part out, right? So we're going to have to call this uh, 1 minus 2x cubed plus x to the 6. That's what you get when you multiply that all out. And then the rest of it. Uh, but again, that's easy integration. Okay, so let's move on to 24. Twenty-four. We're going to rotate region two, uh, which is the uppermost sort of almost triangular chunk. Uh, we're going to rotate region two around OC, which is the y-axis. Um, so we're rotating around this axis, and the shape that we're rotating. So we're rotating around that axis. Yeah. And the shape that we're rotating is, is region two this time. Uh, so that little chunk. Okay, so since we're rotating around the y-axis, let's draw a typical rectangle perpendicular to the axis of rotation. That means we are gonna be doing this in terms of y. Uh, so we'll write an integral that is dy. Uh, so the y limits, uh, the lowest point is 0, and the highest point is 1. And we need to talk about the outer radius, uh, which is the distance from the axis of rotation to right there. Um, and notice there is no inner radius. There's no hole in the middle of this shape. So this time we just we don't need to subtract anything, so we'll just do outer radius. Um, and that will be pi r squared. And this radius, this distance here, is, is literally the x-coordinate. Um, and the x-coordinate, so this function is y equals square root of x, which means that x is y squared. Uh, so keep in mind this is a dy integral, so we need to write things, functions, in terms of y. We can't plug any x's in here. So the outer radius is this horizontal distance right here again, um, which is, for that dot right there, is x, uh, also known as y squared. Okay, so we've got 24 set up. Uh, let's take a look at 26. Uh, 26 is... Uh, the region two, actually, sorry, let's skip ahead. Let's do a region three. Uh, let's do 28, and maybe we'll make this our last one. Uh, so 28 does region three, and we're rotating it around OC, around the y-axis. Uh, so rotating around that axis for 28. And we're doing region three, the middle chunk here the chunk between square root of x and x cubed. Uh, since we're rotating around the y-axis, our perpendicular rectangle that makes a washer when you rotate it, uh, looks like that, which means we're doing it in terms of dy, so we do have a y-based integral here. Put that dy out there on the end. Uh, the y limits, the lowest point of this shape is 0, and the highest point of this shape is 1, so the limits of integration are 0 to 1. And now we just need to look at, from our axis of rotation, what's the outer radius. So go from the axis until you hit the outermost edge. Um, and then, of course, the inner radius would be going from the axis to the innermost edge. Uh, well, let's focus on that outer radius first. Uh, so that would be pi r squared for the outer radius. And this outer distance here um, is basically is just the x-coordinate on this curve. Uh, the x-coordinate is the uh, cubed root of y. All right, so we take this 
x cubed equals y, solve it for x. So the x coordinate is the cubed root of y, or I'll write it as y to the one third. Okay, and then minus pi inner radius squared. Uh, the inner radius is this distance, so it's essentially, again, the x coordinate on this curve, and the x is Again, that's square root of x equals y, and when you square both sides, the x-coordinate is given by y squared. Um, so that's the setup integral for 28. Uh, so for all of these, it's really about making sure that you have uh, sort of figured out how the distance, the outer radius, so the distance from the axis of rotation here to the outer edge of the shape. And the same thing for the inner radius. And then also just making sure it's expressed in terms of the right variable. All right, so when you have that all important rectangle that's perpendicular to axis of rotation, uh, that tells you what your variable is. And you'll write all your functions in terms of y or all your functions in terms of x. All right, I know this is a uh, challenging assignment, so definitely stay in touch with me. Send me questions if you've got them and I'll be happy to help you out.